And now, a page from our Sunday morning almanac, February 8th, 1906, 109 years ago today. The day Chester Carlson was born in Seattle, Washington. Trained as a scientist, Carlson was an office worker in New York City in the 1930s when he virtually, single-handedly developed a new way to copy documents. He called his process electrophotography. In 1947, a small company called Haloid bought the rights to his process, which was renamed xerography, a combination of the Greek words for dry and writing. Renamed Xerox in 1961, the company grew into a multi-billion dollar corporation. The arrival of the first copier was a watershed day for any 1960s era office, as depicted in the TV series Mad Men. I could take out the lockers and use that wall. The break room? Don't take away the break room. I'm not taking away anything. Believe me, this machine is a gift to you girls. Happy Valentine's, girls. <laughs> Corporate success is not without its drawbacks. Xerox has had to wage vigorous trademark protection campaigns over the years, trying to discourage people from using Xerox as a verb or as a synonym for the copies themselves. As for Chester Carlson, he died at the age of 62 in 1968 with many honors to his name. And though the company is expanding beyond the copying technology he pioneered, it's a safe guess that people will be making copies with Xerox machines for a long time to come. Forget those sheets of carbon paper used so much in days of old. Today's folks copy on machines, as Chester Carlson once foretold.